if you're not doing a portfolio, but you're doing an art supplement, you could at least see what is looked at for a larger portfolio. And then you could try to maybe do some pieces or see what pieces that you have to do that. Because that's a, this is a perfect opportunity to work on that stuff if you have the ability to do that in your, in your home. And that takes quite a bit of time for artists that are doing that. So this is something to do. Same thing for music. It's a good time to be practicing, good time to uh, you know, do some recordings and, and just get that arts supplement stuff done so that you don't have to be stressed out about that. I, I feel on some level that we're, I mean, everyone is stressed out just because of what's going on in the world. But if you can use this time productively now, which you don't, you have a little bit more time than you normally do. I know some of you are getting a lot of work from school. But in the fall, then you just won't have all this stuff to do. And you'll want to not be doing this stuff. You'll want to be outside <laughs> and doing other stuff as opposed to doing what you can't have to kind of do now. So that's another thing that we were thinking that you could work on. If you're interested, uh, if you're interested in um, the school newspaper, or that's another way to get a sense of the school. What are they writing about? What are the hot issues? Um, a lot of schools are still doing virtual, are still doing online papers. Yeah, almost so, everyone is. Those are really good ways to get a sense of the school and what's going on. 